This screencast describes some of the projects in the book Puzzles, which is the third book in the Model Metrics Intermediate series. The first project I'm going to describe here is an easy to make shapes puzzle. You start with a simple rectangle, and to divide it into smaller pieces, click your line tool. This puzzle will be easy because it's only going to have five pieces, but you could easily just make more pieces for a more difficult puzzle. The next step is to color your pieces. You do this by using the materials window. Click a color, click a piece. The next step is to scramble up the pieces. If you were to do that now, by selecting a piece, activating the Move tool, and moving a piece out of the way, you'll see this won't work. Objects in SketchUp are sticky, and so this piece drags along all the edges of the pieces around it. So the solution to this problem is to make each piece a group. To do this, go back to the Select tool, and double-click on a piece. This selects both the face and its surrounding edges. Then right-click on the selected piece, and choose Make Group. I have a keyboard shortcut set up for this, which is the letter G. Now the piece is surrounded by bold black edges, and you can see a blue bounding box around the entire piece to show that it's a group. I'll repeat this for all of the other pieces. Double-click to select it, press G to make it a group. Double-click, press G, double-click, press G, double-click, press G. Now to scramble the pieces, I can just activate Move, and move the pieces out of the way. To solve this, you could give it to a friend, and all they have to do is use the Move tool, click a corner of the piece they want to move, and drag it into place. Very simple, here is your shapes puzzle. Another type of puzzle described in this book is a picture puzzle. This is made pretty much the same way and to solve it, you do the same thing. You move a corner into place. The fun thing about making a picture puzzle is that you can switch the picture for another picture. To do this, you find the picture in your materials window and you edit it. You click this icon to replace the picture. Find your next picture and click open. Solve it the same way. And here's your completed puzzle. If you want to see the picture without all those edges, you can do this in your Styles window. By unchecking Profiles and Display Edges, you can see the picture, which in this case is two babies sitting around a toilet. We'll put our edges back in and move on to the next type of puzzle in this book, a word puzzle. This type of puzzle is created using the 3D text tool and you can use it to write secret messages to your friends. To solve it, you do it the same way. Drag a corner point to where it fits. And once again, you can uncheck the edges if you want to be able to read the message more clearly. The next type of puzzle is my personal favorite, a spinning word puzzle. This puzzle is an eight-line poem written along the sides of an eight-sided tube. The first five sections are already solved, but the last three still need to be solved. To do this, select the section you want to solve and activate the Rotate tool, which is right up here. There's a point here which you can use for the center of your protractor. And then you just click corner points until you find the correct location for the text. To solve the next one, select it, activate rotate, and do the same thing until you solve the next one. That's it. 
Today I manage something that I've never done before, with six more lines for whoever solves it to read. If you'd like to create these and other types of puzzles yourself, all of the steps to all of these projects are detailed in the book Puzzles, which is the third book in the Model Metrics Intermediate series. For information about these projects and all other Model Metrics projects, and to see resources for parents, teachers, and kids, please visit www.3dvinci.net. Thanks for watching.